Like all other platinum producers in Rustenburg, Impala is still reeling from the five-month strike by AMCO members earlier this year. Gross profits fell by 1.5 billion rand to 3.2 billion in the full year to June 2014. The company lost 312,000 ounces of platinum during the strike. Plans to rein in costs include a move towards mechanization of new shafts. But Impala says this is not the same as restructuring and may not result in job losses. We are not going to go into that because that is such a demotivating factor on the mine. We've got enough labor. We've spoken to AMCU. I've spoken to Mr. Matundra. We've said we, what we need to do in our build-up is we need to do more with what we have rather than employing more. And that goes back to what Nelson said a little earlier around a comprehensive productivity strategy which addresses mine design. We are fortunate that we're going to be moving to three new shafts. Impala says it expects full ramp-up at its Rustenburg mines to take four months. Production this year is expected to reach 411,000 ounces before improving to 575,000 ounces next year. That's well below the 709,000 ounces reached last year. Without the strike that we saw uh, in the previous year, if you look at Zimplatz and these other operations, they did manage to improve on their production. So I'm thinking the numbers they, they tabled are pretty much um, achievable. The company did not declare a dividend as part of its plans to preserve cash. Its shares fell more than 7% before recovering slightly in the afternoon. Luda Matlochelwa, SABC News, Johannesburg.